Hi Gemini. Welcome back to my channel. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Placement. And it's for the 1111 portal, which is about, you know, 10 days away. And it is a time where the veil is very thin from us to our spirit guides, from us to our spirit world, our ancestors also. A time of huge for manifesting what you want from now till 11 11 2023 and then we'll do it all over again always take what resonates and then always head over and watch your rising moon and venus sign readings for additional clarity and at any time you want to know what's coming just towards you you want me to tune into just your energy you can click on the link below and it'll take you right over to my etsy shop i all i just added um additional readings so you can head over there and see what goes with what you are needing clarity on Angel of Comfort, the card of six, and then Angel of Challenges. That might be why you need that comfort. The card of four. During this time, you may be feeling some challenges. Maybe manifest the strength to get through them. You might be going through challenges with a specific person. Your guides are right beside you. It almost seems like the same, the same guide. All right, guys, let's see. 39, Archangel, Angel of Compassion. I aid ascension through transformational soul healing and alignment with your higher purpose. October could stand out. Maybe something you started to think of around October. There's the comfort. Archangel Zuriel, 38, 38, 39. Angel of harmony and vitality. I help you achieve balance from a change in perspective, compromise, and by, high, by finding common ground. And it says September and find another way. So this says follow your intuition and find another way. 38, 39 and 29. Angel of symbols and dreams. When you feel stuck and need guidance, ask me for, ask me for dreams to give you clarity on what course of action to take. Look for a sign one month from now. Wow. So we have... September, October, and one month from now. And I just feel that your angels are providing that clarity, are giving you that path, and they're meeting you right along that path, Gemini. Let's see what affirmation is for you during this 1111 portal. If you want to know specific ways to manifest your heart out on the 11-11. I write down everything I want on a piece of paper, new moon, full moon, eclipses, and portals. I write down exactly what I want, what I want to end, what kind of relationship I want. If there was somebody that I was, you know, dwelling over, and I know that there's a better word. I manifested that. That never came to me. But I know that I've shared with you so much, someone so much better came to me. And it would only have been that per the person I'm with now to help me forget the other person or to move on from the other person, if you know what I mean. But manifest what's truly meant for you will be on your path and that your guides will help you get there. Um, and put it on a piece of paper. I burn the piece of paper in the sink and then I take the ashes and I go to my backyard and I make a hole and I put the the ashes in there the um, universe absorbs it the moon charges it your spirit guys they bring their energy to it watch what comes to fruition and sometimes the person that you think you think you're mourning over and you're so sad and you're dwelling over may not be for you but there will be someone who comes in with that healing energy to just take over. So, I don't know why I felt like I needed to tell you that. 
excited. I seized the day with a fresh outlook. And deja vu. I learned from familiar moments. Sometimes you have deja vu because it's something that happened in a past life. And you know, this 1111 portal, there's a lot of soulmates during 1111 that, um, that reconnect, that meet for the first time after past lives with one another. In this lifetime, they meet for the first time. 31. I am disciplined. Your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have the organiz organizational skills to manifest them to life. 31. And then I am stable. You bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and your hard work and pres preser perseverance make you a dependable friend, partner, and colleague. Also, fours, obviously Lotus Sutra 444. Fours are you're not alone. Fours are your angel guides are with you. Four, four, four. All right, let's see, guys, what's coming your way. Something you might have manifested before this 1111 portal, because you have to remember what you think about is what you bring about. I used to think to myself as I was like hoping somebody else would return, man, it would be so nice to have somebody that could sing, like sing to me. The other person couldn't sing to me. And do you know I have somebody that sings to me and they actually sound really good? Wrote a song for me and then had it made into a picture through Etsy, made it into a picture for above our bed. So I'm telling you, there's so much more for you out there and you don't even know it. Your energy, the moon. Pay attention to your dreams at this time. You know, keep a journal beside your bed. Masculine and feminine energies. When you wake, just write down a couple things that you remember from your dream. Spirit is definitely trying to connect with you. What you need to manifest, you're going to have choices. That might be what's seeming like as a challenge when you have too many things on your plate and you didn't need to like make a choice. Maybe a few job offers. Maybe you were looking for a job, handing in your resume, resume and then automatically so many came back that they were interested in you. Maybe in love, you have a few offers. It's always when you meet someone that somebody you've been hoping returns, actually returns, and now you're in a relationship. There might be cha choices. So manifest to get through the challenges that you pick the right path. Manifest healing for any heartbreak. Any heartbreak that you're feeling. For those that are not feeling heartbreak, perfect, then this isn't for you. But for those of you that are suffering missing someone, someone's caused you heart, your heart to hurt, manifest that healing, that comfort. And manifest your energy, the empress energy, the air energy, masculine or feminine, man, manifest the that you are shining from the inside out. Manifest your time to harvest, that you're, that you're being noticed by so many people. All eyes on Gemini. What you need to let go of is that you do not have, let go of the idea that you do not have any control. You have free will. You can make this judgment on anything in your life. But I do feel there's a revelation happening during this 11-11 for some of you. And you may be choosing a different path in life different career, going back to school, maybe selling your home, moving to a different state, different country. But where you're moving towards with these dolphins here, there's peace and harmony about ahead. There's better memories ahead. And what you need to embrace, the star, the hope that your wishes are gonna be answered. 
that what's truly meant for you is going to come your way because you have to remember there's always that light shining. You may not realize it because of the state of mind you're in or, you know, where your heart and soul are at that moment. You may feel down and you don't have your head up, but there is a light and your wishes are coming true. Yeah, you have the star and the nine of cups together. There are blessings coming your way. And the king of wands might be a fire sign coming your way. Maybe this fire sign is your nine of cups. Because look, there's queen of wands too. So somebody, someone very confident, very sexy, takes care of themselves. Um, very charismatic. Could be coming towards you. If that's what you're interested in. Let's see, we're going to clarify. And look at the bottom of the deck, the sun. Gemini, manifest your little heart out because what you think about, you bring about. There's such happiness coming your way. You're manifesting your dreams into reality. And for some of you, it is going to be making an amends with someone. See how she's got her head, she's turned towards him, flowers behind his back. There's a shifting of energy here. It's like the two of you are going to notice one another. Notice one another. You both are going to succeed at coming together. For those of you that it's not about love, you're, you're manifesting success in the near future. Balance with temperance here. Balance and healing energy flowing through you. Here's the Queen of Swords, more air energy, Gemini, ba um, the mental stability. Going into any challenge or any choices that you need to, you know, work through, mentally stable, knowing whatever decision you make is the decision you're meant to make. And you don't have to fear it because there's somebody right beside you. During this time... For those of you in the United States, you're celebrating the holidays, nurturing connections, Friendsgiving, Thanksgiving with your family, whatever it is that feels like home to you, you're nurturing those connections. Yeah, for some of you, it's a king of cups. Yeah, look at this. For some of you, it's a king of cups. For others of you, it could be a king of wands. But what I love is that they're king showing up. They're ready for this soulmate connection. Remember, 11-11 time, the biggest time to manifest. So put it out there what you want. But for another meaning of 11-11 is soulmates uniting. So these kings that are showing up in your energy, masculine or feminine, they're ready for this connection. They're ready for love. All right, let's see what else, guys. Bull, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. That's what I feel like these challenges and manifesting these choices are. Don't back down. Go for exactly what you want and do not let anybody tell you that you're not, you can't have it. You know, I'm going to tell you there was somebody very close to me when I was like applying for nursing school who turned around and said to me, you're not cut out to be a nurse. Okay? Do not let anybody's bullshit back, have you back down. Pay attention to your finances. Guys, all around the world, this is huge. Especially entering the holidays. Just always... Even if it's like a dollar a day, try to put something aside so that you always have something to turn to. Seven of 
celebration, fun, enjoyment. See, that's the nurturing of connections in your 1111 energy. Nurturing connections. I do feel for some of you soulmate connection. Others of you, it's friend and, friends and family. But celebrating. Fear, worries, intense situations. You see this? I know it's easier said than done to say to not worry, but just remember, they're right beside you. You have 444 four, four here. It's such a comforting number. And for those of you that that resonates, look up what that means because it's so comforting. A two-faced friend. Might be this person that wants to put opposition into your life. Remember, always seek that strength and that comfort from your angels. The fan, romance, celebration, party. Look, for some of you, it may be going to like a Friendsgiving or a Thanksgiving that you may meet someone that turns out to be a soulmate connection. Because look what's, what was right after that, happiness. All right, Gemini, let me know how it resonates. I will be back for many more readings. Happy 11-11 and always remain safe.